All right, all right. What's going on, everybody? Coming back once again with a little real talk video. Title says, You're Cut Off. You're Cut Off. Last night, I was um, reformatting a couple of more computers, and sometime when I'm reformatting and waiting on updates and things, I cut the TV on and I just flipped through some channels. And this show called You're Cut Off, it tripped me out last night. And I laughed at so much of it, but at the same time, I thought about how many children are like that. Parents who have made their child so lazy, spoiled. These women never worked a day in their life, and, and now their parents are fed up with them, so they cut off their money. Hmm. You ever wonder why the Bible said if you train up a child in the way they should go, and then when they get old, they will never depart from it? It didn't say spoil your child like crazy. And if you train a child up right, they're going to make their mistakes and everything, but they're going to always come back to what's right if they was brought up right. Or we know some just pretty much just going to flat out do whatever they want to do. But not to jump off subject, I believe it was about eight of these women. And they, they took them in this mall and they was all getting ready to shop. You should have saw their bills how much money they was about to spend. But they had the credit cards cut for for a while. And these women ain't never washed dishes a day in their life. They ain't never cooked. One girl said, I can't live without my maid. And now they making them live on a budget and have to, to work like everybody else to, to see how everybody else live that's living on a budget. And some of them are ready to kill themselves. Oh, you know why? Because right now you got a lot of people got money. And if you take their money away from them, they'll pretty much jump off of a bridge. I'm glad when I was brought up, I was brought up understanding what life was about, the little things in life. See, we didn't have all that money like that, balling out of control. We took baths in the same bath water, me and my brothers. We wore each other the same clothes. We we know how it is to struggle, eat the same thing every day, go without a whole lot of stuff. We didn't have money to waste because we needed every bit of what we had. And it made me realize, even growing up as a child, it's more important things in life to do than waste money and shopping. And people just blow money on everything. And then they're always crying that they broke. But until you got to get out on your own, hmm, when you get out on your own is when you see what life is really about. When you struggle, when you're trying to figure out how this bill going to get paid or what I'm going to do next. See, then these are the people I'm talking about. Y'all feel me in this video. Some of these children right now, when they don't know what it is uh, to, to see a hard time. And I'm not saying that, oh, they should just see hard time. No, you want your children to be better than you. But all of this spoiling a child. So now they depending on money for everything. Like I say, some people ain't never paid a bill in their life. These women say that they was princesses. Mm. And they don't have to work. They get all their money from their parents. Mm. And see, you got to look at these parents and what they doing to their children. And when they, they little growing up spoiled, they're going to become a grown woman or a grown man spoiled. But they cut off their money supply. Now, I really want to use this title because I want to say, what if God say you're cut off? Mm. Because your material things meant more. You were cut off. You were serving others. And, 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 I mean, you were serving, you were serving yourself mm. and wasn't helping others. You were serving your other masters. What does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? See, you can shop till you drop. Waste all your money. And when you look at it, you can't hook up no U-Haul truck and take it to heaven. You can't take none of this stuff with you. But this show just kind of caught my attention. And that title, You're Cut Off, I thought about God cutting off. See, we got Christians right now who who only want to serve God when 
Oh, it looked like, oh, the Lord done blessed me now. I can start doing this, start doing that. God don't hear from some of y'all until y'all, or, 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 I mean, let me say it like this. God haven't heard from some of us in so long that it's a shame. And some of us only want to call on God when we want something. As soon as we get it, forget about God. You're more concerned about the blessings that you forget about the blesser. I got a news flash for you. You're not doing this stuff on your own. If you are blessed, you better thank God. Because see, just cost you up today, you can be down in 15 minutes today. But spoiling these children, lazy children, parents who have made their children little monsters, they, they don't have no respect for nobody. Like I say, they lazy. They very disrespectful. Spoil, rotten. And they think the whole world revolves around them. And if they don't get their way, they ready to have a fit. Well, this ain't Burger King. Hmm. You, you can't have it your way right away all the time in life. Sometimes you need to sit back and look at what other people don't have and see what you can do for them. You're cut off. See, it's a part in Matthew where the Bible teaches us about the wide gate. Hmm the road to destruction, and how many people are filled up in that gate. But Jesus said, few will be in heaven. Few. So that goes to let you know, that goes to show you that, oh, it's going to be a lot of people. They're going to bust hell wide open. They're going to bust, they're gonna bust the, the road to destruction is, is, is heavy right now. It's full of folks. Because a lot of people just flat out don't want to change. In other words, Jesus said, he said, those who do the will of the Father. Mm -hmm. But the word of God also says, a lot of people are going to be saying on that day, and we not prophesize in our name, cast our demons in our name. He's going to say, depart from me. I never knew you. You work iniquity. So, in, the, in, the, in, the, in other words, the same thing is, you're cut off. I don't know you. Hmm. See, it's best to be cut off by your parents with, with them cutting your money off than to be cut off from God. With that being said, God bless you. God keep you. Peace.